Hey everybody, as you can see, we've gotten all kinds of fancy over here on the B side. Thanks for joining me. Um, we're back here with uh, Comic Thursday. We're going to be kind of working on our Daredevil 3 cover. Um, I've been doing lots of modeling and stuff for just blocking out the basic stuff for the buildings. Most of the fun stuff with that, I think, is going to come in ZBrush when we kind of like squash it into uh, kind of like that more two and a half inch depth. Um, and then try and do some kind of texturing and painting and all that kind of stuff to kind of make that work. And then try and figure out how to fit in the Daredevil himself. Because as you can see from the picture here, um, it's a little bit, you know, it's got a lot going on, right? So here is the the, the comic book that we're doing. Um, and, you know, again, all kinds of stuff going on in the background here of this city. Lots of depth, lots of things kind of like overlapping. And I'm sure with the, with the drawing, there's not necessarily a whole lot of attention being paid to actual spatial correctness so i'm kind of like trying to mess around with that a little bit um and if you remember from i think two weeks ago uh we brought daredevil in uh and roughly you know roughly posed him in place and did most of the painting on him so for the most part daredevil is is kind of he's blocked in you know and everything's just there except for details and stuff like that so uh, what i want to do tonight really is see if i can get everything with regard to the majority of the the, the city background done um kind of compressed into that that two and a half inch depth in some form uh and then brought over in here so we can start kind of like really putting things together uh and you know probably next time we'll be kind of doing the actual steeple that he's on because that's going to be a little more of an ordeal so what i have here again in the uh in maya is as you can see this is a, this is it's got a lot of depth here, right it's like a, you know, it's very very deep and the shadow box i want this to fit in roughly is this right so here's the kind of thing there's going to be some serious like z or z depth depth depth, depth uh we played with here so let's kind of take a look at what we have roughly right now right so in the background here because it's going to be printed out and because i want this to actually have relief on it you know I'm not, I, I was gonna i was gonna just UV this and bring it into zbrush and use noise for things like the, the bricks um but i wanted to actually have the bricks be not rely on the uv so these are actual, you know, I, just, I made, literally I made one cube and then just duplicated it uh, in a row and then duplicated the rows. Um, and yeah, so lots of bricks that are actually bricks. So, that, you know, again, from a, you know, a little bit irregularity, which is kind of what I was hoping for, I want to kind of have it feel a little bit messed up. Um, I know, guys, we're not, we're not, we're not messing around anymore. The, uh, to be clear, that that, that the, the record spinning thing, that was all Raul who got that set up for me. It was really awesome, I think. Um, that little special turntable thing, some of you might be too young for that. and depends on probably where you grew up. Um, for old folks like me, back in the 80s and stuff, whenever like, a, like, like a, a Christmas special or a cartoon came on, it was a special presentation on uh, one of our channels, CBS, that would appear. So I, I saw that on YouTube, and I kind of recreated that thing in... in, in Adobe After Effects to kind of, you know, make it our own, make it customizable. I just had a, little, a lot of fun with that. So that was a little, little nostalgic thing going on here. Um, so these silos here um, are... Uh, you want to talk because of the ads? All right. Never fear, Jamie. Never fear. We got this. I'm going to play it again because it's because I'm very proud of it. I made this myself. So here we go. Here's the first. So that was all done in After Effects. Uh, really, just a single thing. I just had to get, um, I had to get that word special, um, which does not have a font that I'm aware of. So I actually had to make all the letters myself in Illustrator, uh, and then just animated them rotating uh, with a little bit of delay uh, on like 11 of them or something like that, or 12 of them. Um, a little bit of uh, of color, color, color correction, then you set the blend mode of them all screen. So as they cover each other up, you get that little white, um, a little white overlay with the word special kind of cool. Uh, and the, the yeah, and the the, um, the other video, which was one that 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 Raul set up, was this one. Really dig the of the record the the, the the rainbow air supply background for the beat that was like again that's very 80s for me that awesome. um so in my in my scene here uh this stuff again this is just a texture 
that I made um, with the other end that kind of UV sort of lined up so that when I bring this into uh, ZBrush, I could use that as, as a guide for noise, right? To kind of get the little wooden flat appearing on there. Um, let's see what else. So we've got some shingles here. These are all, again, like this independent individual shingles that are kind of overlapping. Again, I want I wanted to get a little bit more um, actual geometry. I don't want to have to worry about using noise and applying it and hoping that the noise applied well. I just didn't want to deal with that. So I just kind of made these. Not finished this whole thing yet. There's only a little bit left I have to do. What the heck happened here? I'm going to put this guy in the slide this over. Um, <laughs> but like the one, th like, so for example, the one, like some of these things I left blank because it's going to be some just basic kind of like alphas for like, you know, old stone or whatever. Um, and, you know, most of that is just going to be like that. Like these, these boxes here, they're just going to, I'm just going to have to like just put cracks on them or something. Um, but uh, one of the things, yeah, these, these like weird, this one thing I have to do, I have to make, I'm going to make a title. I'm going to make a title of the, the, the uh, comic book first right now. Um, I'm going to re kind of redo it. Actually, I did it once earlier, but I want to kind of take a look at that. But these like weird, like things here, the size feels a little off to me, but hey, you know, I'm going to play around. I'm going to have to make these, 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 these couple little guys here. And then I'm going to try and just squash everything. You can see, um, you know, again, I don't know. I, I think this little ornamental fence here is on top of this building here. So I just made something. And again, somehow this little guy did not. I had to move this over a little bit and I guess maybe I didn't quite move everything so let's make sure you're going to see in, in preparation for bringing this over to um, ZBrush I kind of went through and combined a lot of pieces that I knew um, kind of had to have the same UVs and that kind of thing so like it's I went through and kind of did all that and I UV'd them all so hopefully I can just export it out as an FBX and bring it in the ZBrush and just kind of you know keep going with that so let's look at the the, the the, uh, the title here, and again, this is, you know, it's not a font, and if it, even if it is, it's kind of got that little distorted thing going on. So I, I just went into Illustrator, and I just used the pen tool and kind of made the font, right? So I'm just going to save this out um, as an Illustrator document, and then I'm going to bring it into Maya, because then Maya can then recreate that. Now, I'm pretty sure this will work better than the D problem I had with Daredevil's um, shirt. This will work better. So I'm going to go up here to File. All right, I'm going to save as, and I'm going to save it as uh, Title, uh, and this is kind of um, Illustrator 8. When you save this as something that you're going to bring into Maya, you want to make sure you save the version as Illustrator 8. At least that, that's the way it used to be. I'm assuming it's still that way. I'm going to use Illustrator 8. And that way it's compatible with Maya, um, at least in terms of like using it as a basis for an object, right? So I'm just going to come in here and, and I'm going to come up here to Create. Uh, and I'm going to create an Adobe Illustrator object. I'm going to want a little box here, a little option box. And I'm going to make sure it's set to bevel so that it's not going to give me curves, it's going to actually give me geometry. Hit create. And I have to go and find now that um, that title 8. Okay, there we go. So it's going to be somewhere off in the middle more. There it is. And you can see here, it came in quite nice actually. Um, so this is what I want, right? Now, and it's obviously not. Um, it's not, you know, these are not quads. So I'm gonna to need to triangulate this before I do anything else. But what I wanna do is I want the, the the look of this to kind of reflect this, right? So I want it to have red essentially in the back here and kind of like a little yellowish to whitish yellow um, gradient. So what I'm gonna do is really simple. I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna grab these front faces. I'm just gonna hold down shift and grab these faces in face mode. Okay, and I'm going to go to my UV. I'm going to do a camera-based um, UV uh, projection of just those. Now I'm going to hold shift, click and drag to kind of toggle the selection. Now I have all the ones in the back. And I'll just do a camera-based UV of that as well. So I'll go to UV, camera-based. And now if I go to my UV texture editor, I have, um, this is the back, right? I'm just going to flip this. So I'm just going to go to flip. So this is my back. This, is, this one here is really just going to be red. So I don't need to worry about so much where this is. This is going to be in the texture map. It's just going to have red there. This one I want, this is the front, and I want this to have a little bit of a gradient. So uh, I'm going to just really quickly make a Photoshop document. The reason why I'm going to do a Photoshop instead of just using a gradient in Maya is because I want this to transfer to ZBrush and Sketchfab and stuff wherever I put my stuff, right? So 
Now I got that. So what I'm going to do before I do anything else too, I'm just going to grab this and triangulate it. So I'll go up to mesh and triangulate. That way there's no end gons and no problems. Um, what I'm going to do now is go quickly into Photoshop and do a really quick, I can see here how it's kind of set up. Right? It's set up kind of like a the bottom half is going to be the gradient for the, the yellow gradient and the top half is going to be the red. So I'm just going to make a quick little square document, uh, you know, 2000 by 2000 or whatever document in Photoshop and do that gradient really fast. So I'm gonna go here to 2000 by 3000. I'm gonna have one there, so let's do that. And just going to do a quick gradient. So I'm going to my gradient tool. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go to a very simple black and white really fast. You guys get up, let's put this radial. I want to be radial, I don't want to be radial, I want it to be straight. There you go. So I'm gonna drag it straight up here um, and I'm going to go to my little gradient tool here and I want to make sure that I add another one right here. This is going to be this one here at the very top. I guess this is the one at the top. This is my red. I'm going to double click like that red. Go away. Oh, I don't have so many. There you go. I'm going to make this come right up against this so I have a nice tight line there. And this is going to be Long there. Every time I click and drag on there, I'm going to one. All right, I'm going to make this kind of like that yellowish color, very pale yellow, because it's not much yellow at all. It's kind of almost white and yellow there. I'm going to go with the yellow, very, very pale yellow like this. And I'm going to kind of slide this little midpoint up a little bit. All right. So something like this, right? So I'm just going to save this out and see how this looks. I'm going to uh, export as and JPEG, right? I'm going to export it out as a texture, and we'll go from there. Okay. So um, let's go here and I think I save it as texture. So I'm going to go up here to um, do my history. And I'm going to assign new material, assign new material. I'm going to make it a, a Lambert for now because I don't really care. I'm going to see how it looks. Um, and let's go here to file and let's find that picture. So let's go here to my covers and my Daredevil and my reference, my title text. This will be right here. Okay. So you can see here what it's, what it's giving me is kind of what I want. Um, it's giving me the, you know, the, 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 the yellow on the front and the red here, kind of like we're seeing here. What I want to do though is, I hope I got to scale this down, uh, but what I want to do is kind of get a variation of that, you know, 3D feel. Um, so I just need to kind of skew this to a certain extent, right? So I'm going to go here and go to my lattice, my deformer, like you would have in, uh, in ZBrush. I'm running out, I'm, I'm forgetting, forgetting programs here. I'm going to grab the back parts of this and just pull over and down, right? So basically, I'm just making this kind of more of a, you know, offset. Okay, leave my history. And again, I'm, I'm getting kind of a shadowy thing, I'm getting kind of like an occlusion thing here too. So um, I can just get rid of that by going here to my material, going to the incandescence in, uh, input and plugging in that same picture. So I don't need to worry about, you know, I don't want shadows for this. I want this to be very, very vibrant. So I'm just going to plug in. Again, this is just for, for visual purposes, but um, there you go. So now it's nice and clean, right? All right, so I'm going to put this over here. Let me just uh, get my 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 guy here. So there is my, my, my title. And um, what I need now is... Uh, to, I just want to kind of finish up. This is, this is not the exciting part, but this is, I want to finish up all these little pieces here. And then I think I'm pretty much ready to squash everything back and see how it's going to kind of fit in uh, within or somewhat within Chatterbox. I know that some of this stuff, when I bring my Chatterbox uh, input back in, a lot of stuff is going to go outside the edges. That's just going to get chopped off, right? Obviously. But um, I was just trying, you know, again, I'm trying to plan for what I'm going to use. I'm trying to kind of make roughly the same proportions of the color book, so that's where I am with that. So, let's do this. Okay, so I don't know what to, again, I don't know what to make of this, um, some of these, these little these little guys here, but you can see here, we got 
I started bending this little guy for this. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make this little guy here. It's got kind of these little, these little ductwork raised ridges on them. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and play around with that and I'm gonna insert the edge loop. So again, if you're using Blender um, or, or, you know, or any other program, obviously, you, you know, there's just the same tools. They're just called different things, probably. So, right. so I want these, these to kind of poke out a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the offset edge loop tool, which is basically a tool that drags out edge loops on either side of an edge loop, right? To kind of like um, surround it. And the same thing right here. And then just grab the, uh, the original edge and then scale it out a little bit so that we get a little bit of that kind of, you know, get that like around. Just kind of get that little weirdness there. I might, just because I don't like um, pointy edges, I'm just going to give it a tiny bevel. Just to that up. Let's see, we got another one up here. Looks like, like we have an indentation here. So again, now, if I did an insert as loop here, it's going to, with the angle of this, we're going to try and split the difference between the angle of this one and the angle of this one. All right? And I kind of don't want that. It doesn't seem like that's the case here. So instead, what I'm going to do is use the uh, the cut faces tool, which is basically, a, it's just almost like a projection of a cut as opposed to a wraparound cut. So the, the, the this, this kind of cut tool allows me to just drag out a line. And it's just going to kind of like, again, almost like it projects it right through there, um, which is what I was going for here. So I've got my slide edge loop tool. Um, I'm gonna edge mode, grab this guy and slide this down a little bit. I'll just do it like this because I don't want it to move the angle. Okay, so this, I'm just gonna bevel this edge. You get a little thin, little thin line like that. But I can then, okay, yeah. Grab this whole row of faces, screw those in a little bit. And what I tend to do is, after I do this, um, I'm going to increase my selection by one row in another direction, and then my shortcut shift greater than. So you can see I kind of increase my selection, and then I'm going to shift change the selection to the, the perimeter edges, which will be these top two. So I'll just control right click and go to edges to edge perimeter, and then it grabs the edges that are at the outside of those selections. Then I can just bevel this. So basically, that's what I tend to do. I'll extrude and I'll increase my selection, grab the edges around the around the borders, and just give them a little bevel. One, it kind of again it gets, it gets rid of those um, those right angles, but it also uh, adds some support in case you ever needed some divide or whatever. But, so I think even here, at this little part here, there's a little bit of a bump. So I'm actually going to grab this whole row of faces here and extrude this out just a little bit. This and then we're going to scale it down. Oops, not that way. I'm just going to, um, that's fine. And I'll just grab this edge and move it down a little bit. And irregularity is okay with this because this looks, you know, kind of ridiculous. That's okay. So, again, I can build some of these things out. I might just kind of try and make most of this from this existing pipe. Um, so just fewer parts. So this little part here is going to be this little ring. So again, I'm going to grab this new edge. I'm going to bevel it um, just to kind of give me two edges. Kind of get that. Got that. I'm going to go here, grab that full edge here, or that, that full row of faces, extrude those out. A little bit of this might kind of like scale them down a little bit to kind of get it rounded. But again, I'll just go to control. Uh, right click and go to my edge perimeter i'll bevel that maybe give it some extra segments to kind of make it a little bit rounder yeah there you go there you go quick quick little thing here we have to have another one now and we've got these vertices here and i put it up i need a little bit more room for this one this is a big one okay i'm gonna add an edge loop right here I'm going to actually add two edge loops. You can see, if you look closely, there's like a little separate extension right there. So I'm going to grab all of these, screw them out a little, and then grab the rest of these and extrude those out some more. So I'll break them just picking up that two little rows here. And once again, I will go right click and go to the edge perimeter, just right click, double edge, 
I'm going to increase that fraction a little bit and then increase the segments so it runs out. There we go. Delete my history so you know how that happened. Down here, all I'm going to do down here is I just want to kind of like this. I want there to be a little bit of a, of a connector. Um, just so it doesn't seem like it's going straight in there. Um, so I'll just do that. And again, same idea. Um, I try and do that using the insert exit tool. So I'm going to go on an angle. So I'll just use my expert edge tool. I think that's what it's called. I forget what it's called. Something like that. But grab those guys, extrude those out. This time I don't need to go top and bottom for this. I just want to go to this one. Some segments. There you go. Perfect. Lovely. So now we got that part. This part, very weird. Uh, I love it. I'm going to make that thing now. So let's bring that, bring in another cylinder. Pop this right here. Where is it? There, it is. Um, there you go. It was isolated in the Y axis. So it wasn't in the Y axis. It was not in the Y. That wasn't helpful. So let's get it down. All right. So let's go ahead and this is not right. There we go. Put it right in there. Okay. So let's bring this up a little bit. Make this a little bit taller. Like so. Like that. We need to give it um, some subdivision caps just so that we have the ability to kind of like, you know, keep it with the top. And I'm going to give it some. Like this one. Again, uh, this is one of those ones. I, I, I'm not a model, so it's just the two at the end. Um, I blame Bradley. I think I'm just going to blame Bradley for everything today. Next time it might be Mike or Tony or Ian, but I'm going to go with Bradley. I'm going to go with these edges here really fast and I'll bevel them again. Some segments around them off a little bit, something like that. And these little indentations around here. So now these are, these fish are, this is 20. 20 sided one. So I don't know if going every, skipping every two rows are going to work. But if it doesn't, the problem will be noticeable on the back. Which you can see. And again, if it happens like that, it's Bradley's fault. Yeah, see? All right, Bradley. That will look too good. Yes, this is this is definitely going to be a 3D print. That, that's kind of why I have to kind of like be a little bit picky about making sure everything fits in, in the shadow box because I'm going to need to actually fit in the shadow box. Um, and I'm, and I think, you know, I, again, I, my, in my, in my wildest dreams, this whole background, once I crunch it down and hopefully it's reprinted out like on an ender or some, or, you know, in a PLA print, you just kind of like, you know, have that be in the background, but, and then something, maybe like the little fence and that kind of thing, I think that's resin. But ideally I would like to kind of try and use the, uh, the filament printer for this. Um, just because I think that would be kind of, you know, a nice little way to get the film picture some action. <laughs> we'll see about that though, because I have, I have, I have varying degrees of luck with uh, film printers. Um, most of those degrees are are, are in, in the, the realm of bad. So we're going to see how that works. Um, so I just extruded those in, so smooth this out, and kind of get that nice rounded look. And now I need to kind of like bow it um, in. Yeah, and, I, and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that like that's kind of to the strength of the end there too. Like I can hopefully just kind of like print it out in like just one big sheet. <laughs> so that's that's my hope. Um, again, I've had, I've, I've hoped things before that uh, didn't quite come to pass, but we'll see. Um, all right, so let's let's scale this up a little bit. And what I could do, just for funsies, I'm going to grab this whole row of, of faces here in the middle. And then hit B, which goes to soft select in my right. So soft select is kind of like the like the focal shift fall off essentially in ZBrush. I can kind of like if I scale this in this way now. See how it kind of like it has a nice little fall off on there, which I kind of like. Um, it just saves me the trouble of having to go through like one those and all that kind of stuff. So um, again, it's a little stylized, but now I, I do I do want to. Uh, Get a let's actually let's work with a piece of water. I think I was making it taller and actually it was making it taller. So yeah, so the, as you see the width of this is not much more than the width of the pipe. So what the hell are you doing there, guys? Right. Um, yeah, 
Now here's where you're going to see some you being. And by, by some you being, I mean, it's going to make Tony roll. He's going to be looking up at the sky. It's like something terrible is happening right now. I'm just going to do a quick little UV. And for me, my 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 method of UV is to simply look at it and go to UV and say, hey, make a camera based. Like that's my that's my method. There you go. All done. Um, and then I'll just cut off the cut off the cap for the most part, right? So <laughs> cut off the caps right about here and here. All right, shift, right, click, cut. So now I have just the tube, the top tube, and one of the parts where I'm not going to see a seam, like on the back, I'll just use, I'll select the edge there, I'll cut it, and unroll it, and call it a day. And that is that is the extent of my U being. Um, if I'm going to be honest, I don't care a lot about UVs. I mean, all I care about is that it can contain a texture map. It doesn't need to be beautiful. It doesn't need to have, you know, I'm not baking anything. I'm not doing any of that. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even know how. I, I, I am so hopeless when it comes to texturing. At one point in my past, I knew. I knew how to do that stuff and I did it. Um, and then, <laughs> and then I stopped. What the heck just happened with this? Here? Oh, somehow I went off the, I went off the, the screen. Again, I blame Bradley. They are, gosh, they are the laziest UVs ever. But you know what? I mean, you know, I could also just bring it into ZBrush and just go to UV Mesh and say, "You do it." So at least I'm taking that, I'm making that effort. Now I'm going to UV this, and then um, I'm going to move it. But actually, you know, what? I might try. I might just go into Maya here. It's probably better smooth. I don't know if that's a better idea or not, but I kind of, yeah, kind of worked pretty well. I just, I just went through it out. But yeah, yes, those are, I mean, those are painfully lazy UVs. Like, that's just, like I said, Bradley is probably just like, you know, what is happening? Some, some, someone somewhere is making a terrible UV map. Right here, this guy. All right, so uh, I don't know if there's, a, if there's something on top of this, like a little cap. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just kind of make one uh, that feels like it could be a cap. Uh, I'm just going to scale this down to kind of, kind of like level it out a little bit and then just extrude this up um, just to kind of, you know, just to kind of give us something. Um, because I used to, again, okay. not, not at all. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do, let's do, let's do the, the time, the time, the time honored uh, UV method again. UV, camera based. That's right, baby, camera based. I could use cylindrical, but I mean, again, where's the charm? Where's the charm? Let me put it right up there. Let me put it this is this is how animators do UVs. <laughs> I'm kidding about it. Anyway. No. This is the kind this is this is the kind of work ethic that has made the B side the least viewed channel in the Stylus League family. Yep, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh no, no, no. It's, 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 please, please, please stop. Please stop. Anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. okay, so here I'm gonna do my little, I'm gonna do a little cut somewhere in the back, right here, right where there should be a hole that isn't. Okay, so let's, let's put it here. So I don't like what I'm gonna do because, like I said before, I think I'm trying to kind of kind of consolidate a little bit. Is I'm gonna put all this stuff, like these these these, um, these little roof pieces here. Um, I'm gonna just combine them into a single object. Again, just fewer things to have to worry about going over there. Again, some of these things, like these little like these little strings and all that kind of stuff, little wires. That stuff I'll add. Practically, after I print it, kind of like an actual wire. Um, so I'm not gonna that. But what I'm going to do now is grab these pieces and go to my UV texture editor here really fast. And again, I'm just 
no judge, don't judge, don't judge. We're going to go to, to, uh, to lay out and go play. Just lay them out somewhere. Just, just put them somewhere. There you go. So now they're all together. They're all in the same UV plane. I'm going to go to mesh and bind. In my history, all this red metal objects. There you go. Look at that. Done. Finished. All right. So, what I want to do now is I, I want to start again. Like I said, there are some. There are a few other things. If you, if you look, if I look here at this picture, the smoke and stuff. Obviously, I'm going to add in ZBrush. Um, that'll be kind of fun. Uh, there are things in the very, very big, the very, very foreground. One of these little guys here. This big pipe, which seems to actually not be on a roof, but just kind of like to be on the side here. That I'm going to add after the fact if I add it at all. Um, this fence here, I have no idea what it's on. Like I don't know what it's actually sitting on. And this low roof here, this glass ceiling here, I just don't know exactly how I'm going to fit that in there and how it's going to work. I think that those things might end up, if they're there at all, they're going to be kind of an offshoot of the steeple in terms of like where they connect. So I'm not going to worry about them here. Everything that I think I need to be able to squash and put into the uh, the, the shadow box, I think I have. Um, so that's that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of start. I'm going to hit save, and now I'm going to save this as something else because I'm I, I'm a little bit paranoid here. Uh, blackout skewed. I'm going to make sure that this is a separate thing because in case I ever want to come back to the original, to the non-squished part, um, I want to be able to do that. And I probably will, because I'm sure I'll mess something up. All right. Okay, here we go. This is very exciting. So I'm going to grab everything here. All this crap, except for the title, because the title's not need that. Um, yep, yep, yep. I don't, yeah, I, I think yeah, that is, okay, cool. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually probably do that. Let's bring back the shadow box. I want to be able to see everything. Um, I'm gonna grab everything again except for that title. All right, so let's go here with my lattice. Just a two by two deformer. We grab the front lattice points here and just start punching back. Okay, actually, actually, it doesn't look terrible. It's a little crunched. I might, I might bring it out a little bit. Um, I could always, like you know, I can always extend the uh, the bottom of my shadow box to kind of, you know, let this come out a little bit. But I actually think that's not a bad idea. Um, and I can see one of the things I might want to do though is if I do that, um, these little guys sticking out here are going to seem really weird, right? They're going to be really weirdly. Um, really weirdly squashed. So I think I, what I might do is keep these objects here out of the squashing because I can, I, I'm still going to squash them a little bit probably, but not nearly so much as they were there. So I'm just going to make everything but them and my title and just do a squash of that because I think that that, that was just a little too obviously squashed, especially since it's kind of out in the middle of uh of everything yeah i, I am going to i'm going to skew it um i'm going to skew everything to kind of like i'm going to skew the back half this way that's my plan um because that is how that that looks right so it's, it's and yeah i might even i might even skew it down a little bit like you said um because that's that's part of that part of this process because absolutely need to do that in order to get that that same kind of look there so I can, I can get most of this in there, and I think it looks okay. Again, this is just the background of the thing, so I think it might actually work. Now I'm going to grab the back of this, slide this a little bit this way, kind of get that left to right view. Now I might just grab this and slide this this way a little bit too, because I want to make sure everything is up against the, the wall here. So it's not too much, it's too much, just a little bit. Um, you can see how to move some of these things over, I guess, when all said and done. Um, uh, maybe not. Maybe let's grab this and just slide the whole thing over a touch. Yeah, that actually might work. 
Um, and now I want to do a little bit of a vertical, like you said. Um, so I'm going to go back. Very good. Grab the other one to bring this up a little bit. The only issue with that, I, I think, I, I think you're right. That I do need to do that, but I don't want it to do it to all of them. Um, I want it to. I don't think I want to do it to the foreground elements. Well, actually, I do. Actually, I do. The issue that I have is okay. So I think I just need to scale everything up after there because you know by doing this, I'm kind of it's kind of coming a little bit clear of the of the background there, which I guess is no big deal. I'll just scale the whole thing up a little bit. Like that. I'll get a little bit of a um, left to right, up and down thing there. Now I'll just grab the whole the whole lattice and just scale it up a little bit just to kind of make everything fit. I'm doing down here. I can pull this up a little bit maybe. Yeah. Get that going. Okay, so I'll put this right in the middle here and then just scale the whole thing up. Just, just go until I get to that point where I okay. Yeah. Okay, that looks round. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. So we get a little bit of perspective going on there. We got a little bit of a downward downward turn with these guys. Um all right, let's try that. And then all these the history. Um yeah, and so what I'm gonna have to do is just I was gonna do some volume. Um and this is two and a half inches deep. I might just need to make this, you know, three inches deep. It's not really the worst thing in the world um, if I have to do that. I've done it before. But I might not even have to. I might just have a little lip here um, just for, for that. That might be kind of interesting. Yeah, that'll work. Now let's figure out where the where we'll go. Mm -hmm. So Daredevil is mm -hmm. no, I don't like that. So that has to come this way. Yeah, I think, hmm. All right, guys, I have to undo back because there's some things I have to do to fix. Because I think I was missing something here. What I have to figure out is exactly what... Um, yeah, I, it's, yeah, they have facial across the front coming out of the shadow. Yeah, I think... I think, yeah, this the whole steeple is going to have to be its own thing. So I, I might need to make this deeper to contain everything. But what I'm looking at here is... This picture is going to indicate like this, like a downward left. And I don't think I did that. Um, I think I just did like a front to back, but it's supposed to, I think it needs to be kind of like this um, to a certain extent. 
right? And then and then down maybe. Kind of get that that look. I think that that was that was part of the issue. Is it? Is it? I was I was getting a I was I wasn't getting the um the the, the perspective that I was hoping for. It was bugging me. So now, yeah, so now if I do this up like this, I think that makes more sense. Kind of like this. Um, I don't think, I don't think it's as much down here. So I think it's kind of like, again, it's, I'm trying to match perspective on a drawing that didn't need to match perspective, right? So it's a little bit weird in that sense. But I'm, I feel a lot better about that shape there, to be honest. Um, and now, I can, now this can kind of go off the side here. So now I can scale this whole thing up a little bit. Um, and just kind of do something like this. Ooh, a little better. So this fits now. I feel a lot better about this downward angle here. I just wasn't seeing that before. Um, yeah, I think this is better. Um, I don't really mind this coming out here. Is, I think this is good. This actually fits in there. I feel like we still have some depth. And I think that um, if I can manage to paint some stuff um, with kind of like a, a paler color and that kind of thing for the background, it'll kind of maybe help with that too. But I think this actually works. It's fun. It'll be funny to see how these things actually like exist in a printed fashion because they're all so squashed now. I kind of like it. I love, I love this. This little twirly thing is absolutely deflated. Like there is just nothing going on there. Okay. Here's about yeah. Maybe just further back too. You have the sensation of the cross at the front coming out of the shadow. But yeah, that's. I think that's what I need. I needed to get. I needed to get some way to get everything in there. I think that this will actually work. Um, yeah, little little bits of things to kind of fix, but I think that's actually that's actually okay. I don't want to grab these guys to do the history. I just need to grab this. Yeah, I'll do that when I get into into ZBrush. But I think that'll work. And now I'm gonna grab my my little my little guys here, which were on this building. And I'm just going to put a lattice on them too. So I can just let's just bring it down here really fast. Let's scale this down a little bit. Yeah. But again, I'm going to try some, it's, it's going to be a little bit weird in the, in the, in the, like the perspective here probably, but again, this whole thing is weird. So I'm not going to have fun with that. Right, let's bring this to about here. Okay. A little lattice for them. And do kind of the same thing. Bring this down. Think, yeah. I want this to feel a little bit further um, forward. So what I'm going to do is go to vertex mode. Let's just grab one of these. It's one of those times where I probably shouldn't have combined them yet. That's right. Make sure they're actually on the, on the surface here. I would love to do is to find a way to make this smoke kind of like there's a kind of like this lit up area back here. I really want to have some LEDs down here, so I gotta kind of get that 
doing what it's actually doing without that would be cool all right anyway let's get there double here so that was bothering me the fact that when i was looking at this as like the, the title I was seeing how it kind of went with the um, with the, the windows back there, and it just wasn't it just wasn't working. So this feels a lot better to me at least. Um, let's get this down, touch. Bring up this up. Now, of course, this goes off the screen. Uh, I don't off the the thing. I don't want to do that here. I kind of can't. Can't do that anymore. So that'll, I think that'll hold. And once I bring this in the ZBrush, I'll, I'll fix the fact there's a little bit of an overlap here, but that won't be a big deal. Um, all my shingles, these were actual shingles at one point, and now they're just flattened into a, <laughs> into a single thing. No, I probably should have thought that. I probably should have thought that's worth. All right, so let's take care of this. Now. Let's save this because that that actually worked out better than I uh, had, had thought, and ended up being okay, I think. Um, so let's grab everything, all this stuff, and let's see if we can ex export this out. Um, Gx. Make sure in Benigna it's set there. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna export this. Cover. Okay. I don't want to support a map. I think it's just because I had some gradients. Uh, attached in there. Go here and let's see how this works. Wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it be great, folks, if this worked? I mean, it's not, you don't know, but let's just leave it. Let's bring in partner. Like it did. I think it actually worked. That's exciting. I'll, I'll take that. And, um, yeah, I think that's, I'll, I'll take that. All right. So I'm, I'm just going through really fast and getting rid of some stuff here. It's very relevant. All right. All right. So let's see what we got, folks. Let's see, we got the. Uh, And they're all they're all their own thing, which is cool. So let's let's go here to this guy. Um, now, again, like I, I, what I'm trying to figure out here is exactly like I could do a boolean. If I do a boolean, do I lose my UVs? I think I lose my UVs. If I do a boolean. So what I might just do is a clip curve. Um, so just to kind of like, because again, I, I don't care about losing my, UV, my UVs obviously for the purpose of printing, but for things like Sketchfab, um, I don't want to lose my UVs. So, uh, just do, I can see if I can do a trim curve and, uh, if this works. Oh, definitely not that. Okay. Um, right, well, for this, then I guess I'll just hide and delete and, and do that without well, even UVs, right? I'll, I'll divide this one first. Okay, no biggie. I probably don't even need UVs for those. There's not like a texture on those. Um, all right, so let's take a look here. So I want to kind of start getting this to feel like the the, uh, the comic. I'm going to bring in that picture, um, and then we'll go from there. I'm going to import my my cover. I 
and let's just start throwing in some some let's get a feel for what's going on here right so um what i want so this these silos have a texture on them which i'm not going to use i'm going to use that as um as noise so i'm going to go here and turn my texture off really fast i'm going to select these all and turn off the textures because this is just um That was just meant to kind of make sure the noise worked. So turn the textures off of the the roofs as well because they all have. I'm going to be using that as noise for all of them. So let's go ahead and just work it out. All right. So now let's go to my silos here, and okay. So if I were to subdivide these smooth nice okay cool so let's take a look here at noise right so i'm going to sample this color that greenish color um something like this i suppose uh and then fill that i'm gonna go with a um with a basic material for now i guess just because i don't want to be too obnoxious let's go here fill that let's just fill these um Hit fall off of that. Yeah, maybe. Okay. And so again, I'm going to throw in this uh, texture as a noise, right? So I'm going to come in here and let's go to surface and let's go to noise. And I'm going to come here to alpha and I'm going to bring in these. It's called a slats texture. It's just I made a, it's just a bunch of squiggly, squiggly lines. Um, I'm going to make sure the alpha scale sets a one because I, I want to have it just you know to be uh, turn off basic noise here and. Is it basically noise? Is it one? Um, let me just see. Is that the one that I want? I think maybe I set it for repeated. Let's see what it was in Maya. I'm gonna grab this guy. I want to see what I did with this texture in Maya. So I plugged it in. Yeah, it's one to one. Okay. Let's check. Okay, cool. All right, so let's do that again. Let's go back to ZBrush here. Make this black. Okay, so you can see this. I I, I thought. Hmm. I thought that this was different. Let me just take a look at the UVs of this. I want to see if this this UV is uh, is what I think it is because I could have sworn. Yeah, these are different strips. So why I put them as different strips so that they would look like they weren't just a straight shot. Um, but, okay, well, whatever. I'm not really going to worry too much about that. Oh, I said it's a UV. I'm an idiot. There you go. All right. Uh, all right, Gus. So let me let me say for the record that I love my son, Brewster. Okay? Love him to death. He's 17 and a half years old. He is, the, he is the, my firstborn. I love him to pieces. I don't necessarily like the idea of putting Brewster on the thumbnail. However, and this is kind of a joke, and, 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 you know, but um, we were you know, we given the fact that <laughs> the, the, the the B side is easily the the least popular um, channel on Silas League. No, 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 no. Seriously, guys, you know, stop. Um, one of the things that, that, that you, know, you, you hear about is if you want to increase engagement, you need to have something on your thumbnail, like a picture of you or something else. Now, I, I, I've long kind of made a little joke about the fact that I absolutely despise those YouTube thumbnails where there's a person on there going, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, but um, no, I won't do it. You know, you're not going to be like, I'm not going to have, you know, 
oh my god wait until you see how this turns out and i'll be like so instead of me uh i put brewster and uh if brewster can't drive up engagement then i'm out of ideas yeah um so that was the idea it's just me being a jerk <laughs> but but it's true apparently that works uh well i mean not that it works but it's true that, that that you know when you have images of you know people or animals or whatever uh it has a little more of a personal feel to it i guess i'm like well i'm not gonna take pictures of myself so brewster it is what's up ram <laughs> see ram came because he saw that picture of brewster he brewster's work he's, he's, earned, he's earned his money I'm going to save this silo node so I can just apply it to the other ones as well. But yeah, so yes, in case you are wondering, that was that's me uh, deciding that, that this is, you know, Brewster is my last great hope for, uh, you know, for getting people to come, to, <laughs> getting people to watch the show. <sighs> and again, I'm only kidding. Like, you know, hanging out with you guys is, is, is all I really want to do. I don't really care about it, but I just thought it was funny because, you know, I mean, I shouldn't say I don't care about it, because of course, you know, when you see, oh, you know, I mean, you know, the numbers are going down. Sure, it, it's like, oh, is it me? And seeing as how I'm the only one here, it pretty much has to be me. <laughs> What's up, Kai? Thank you, man. See you again, Brewster. Earn his cash. Um, but uh, so yeah, that was. There's, there's, there's no good reason for Brewster to be on there. I just, you know. It's because I don't have a picture of me, and even if I did, I sure as hell wouldn't put it on a thumbnail. Um, it's just not, you know, nothing's worth that, guys. Nothing's worth that. Um, all right, so now I got the uh, the the roof, the roof of the, and it's pretty much the same thing, right? Um, so I'm just going to, but it's a slightly different color. I think it's a little bit more in the yellowish side. Um, <laughs> it's funny that one. I don't know why. Okay, so let's just fill these guys really fast. All right. So now for the roofs, I'm going to um, do noise as well because again, I made a I made a version of these little guys. I, I went into Photoshop and did what's called a, a polar coordinates just, um, deformer and kind of rounded them out. Ram, I agree. I agree. You and I are on the same page. You and I, you know, Gus, I and Jimmy, you know, again, and that's that. I, I, I'm only, I, I'm only joking. I, again, I always like to make fun of myself, um, and thankfully, because um, you know, I'm the lowest viewed channel on on the not um, I get to make fun of myself all the time. So you know, it's it's good. By the way, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that. That, that, that. This is something that I just realized is in this this stream that I could make. Things I can, I can I can get my own cheering function and <laughs> do that whenever I say something that's terribly depressing. <laughs> All right, so anyway, here's my roof slat noise, and uh, I can't see it. it. Make sure your noise turn off. Make it dark. And we're I'm going to save this as roof noise. Yeah, there's definitely something to be said. Um, if you're an arty type person, or like me, wish you were an arty type person, and you don't have a lot of self confidence in the first place, you have some insecurities. Um, you know, looking uh, relentlessly at streaming numbers, not the best solution to that. So, you know, I'm no longer going to look at them. <laughs> but I just thought it was. I that was fun. Brewster, you know, Brewster's doing his job. Okay, so I'm going to grab, I'm going to make a folder. Now I'm going to start, again, this is, this is the exciting organizational part of, uh, of the, of the stream. I'm going to put all my silo things, that's not silo, all my silo, I, I, I assume they're silos or water towers. I'm going to call them silos because I like the idea of them just being grain silos in the middle of the kitchen. But, um, there you go. So I want to kind of have that set up there. All right, so now let's go again. I'm going to go through 
And some of these things I chose because of their color. I said, oh, it's from silver pieces. Everything that's silver in there, I'm just gonna make this metal um, and okay. metal. There you go. So now all the silver things are silvery. Oh, silver. Um, okay, so let's just go through and shadow box. I'm just gonna turn black ish. Now we can start seeing what's up. So now this, this building here, I'm going to turn off the uh, Daredevil title because it's just getting away right now. But let's turn that off. Okay. So this building here, I'm just going to do some sculpting. I mean, not, some, not really sculpting, but some, some uh, alpha ink and kind of make it look like the old brick. So uh, it's just kind of a very basic um, thing. So I'm just going to grab that color, throw it on there for now. Here we are. Okay, so the side shingle. So this is these guys over here, which I assume are kind of a dark green. Kind of like that. It's actually a gray, but you know, dark green, gray. Very similar. Main building, this guy. So I believe that's the, this one right here. Oh yeah, this guy. So this one here, it's it's not it's actually this little guy right here. So it's kind of got that um that purplish pinkish hue on it so i'll kind of put it on there for now uh, and then again these the all the ones that are flat are the ones i'm going to try and do some alpha texture on there right so um this is up here all right this is going to be more of that same kind of greenish color Okay, and that's this part, and that is kind of a like a grayish purplish color here. So let's see. Okay, so silver pieces, ladders, ladders are just dark color. Um, let's go to the, this is that that under the water tower stuff. It's like this this wooden type cover color there. So. A lot of like mauve, it seems like in here, because um, everything's kind of got that cool like um, dusky thing going on here. So that version in there, throw that color in there. Look at it. So again, I'm throwing this color on here. Does that look like this? I guess it isn't really, but I mean, it's material. This is up here. I was thinking it's like darky, a darker tone. I'm gonna grab this and just fill that because I thought that was good. Alrighty, so let's see what we got here. Um, going through, going through, going through, back wall. I think it's kind of the same the same color as this, so I'm just gonna throw that same color on there. Now this is brick, so it's got that reddish tint to it here. I'll throw that on there. Hopefully I can use um I hope I can kind of get some just for the sake of painting, hopefully I can get some uh, some play with the uh, with the brick. Uh, hopefully it still some some relief on there because uh, definitely was uh, was was flattened quite a bit in the in the in the bringing over here. So the side of the roof, of course, this is just more metal. So let's go here to metal. We actually, use metal for this. Okay. Um, yeah, we're here now to the main building. This is kind of an orange color, looks like. So let's grab that. I'm gonna go with some of subtle stuff for now. Stained glass. Well, I actually think it's stained glass. So it's not good, but, yeah. Stained glass frames. Just gonna do them. They're kind of similar to the to the green building this stuff okay so this is kind of like a bricky a bricky color all right guys sorry we're getting we're getting there we're getting there okay so oh that's the that's the building this is the brick so the building itself is a little more toward the orange because it's got it's, it's starting to get illuminated by what's going on around it 
So I'm just going to kind of like throw a basic R&D in there for now. And again, all the will change, but the main single is definitely R&D. Um, yeah, main mid platform, this is the way. All right, so in through all this, lots of stuff, lots of stuff. Stuff to work with metal. So we're going to get that same kind of metal color for our metal texture, from our GB still. A little metal thing happening there. That box work right there. This is the mid building here. This is more of that same green color. Title, we know the title. Silver part. This is just black. You have to be inside of a window or something like that. The main building is going to be that same rough reddish orange color. Yeah. Piece like comic code for that. I yeah, I, I, you can see I I, I do like <laughs> for the thumbnails. I I can't I think I think the the the, uh, the B side font a lot this time because we're modeling Hell's Kitchen. Um, I I I stole the HGTV uh, font. I don't know why that made me laugh again. That kind of attention to detail <laughs> is the key to my popularity. All right, so let's, <laughs> let's um, what I'm going to do really fast. I need to, uh, get here. Um, oh, oh, wow, yeah, okay. I'm going to make it more of a darker color. Okay. I guess the uh, the frame is the same as the frame uh, is the same um, poly group, same object. No, 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 no. All right, so it's going to go a little bit more orange there, and then this. Felt like that. Okay. All right. And make sure we go back and forth so it stays that way. Beautiful. All right. Just wanted to kind of make sure that looked a bit better. Um, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? So we're getting there. Man, look at all this. Look at all this. Everything's colored on this. The building bases. These are just basically the um, they're just the score, the, the rectangle, the, the cubes underneath the brick, just to kind of give it something that it needs to be on. You know, that so it can sit on there. This is just the platform stuff. This is all just gray. Ornamental fence is going to be dark, and the red metal objects. I will make it metal. And then I will make it kind of a reddish color. You don't want that metal too much. No. Put that in there. Okay. All right. So now we have basically all of our stuff roughly blocked out, right? And again, now you know we're going to just kind of go in and start playing around with giving it some texture and that kind of stuff, and see how this how this works. Um, so like, for example, this guy is, this is the one I want to do first, this one up top here, because it's just so blatantly nothing. Um, so I want to kind of turn this down a little bit. And I want this to have some, just some rough cracks on it. So, um, I'm going to divide this in a few times, obviously, and I'm going to turn off the smooth modifier so that, um, it won't smooth it, so I'll just add more points. And I can kind of get up to probably around like a million or so, just so I can kind of get a decent texture on there. Of course, I'll be decimating it and all that kind of stuff, so it's fine. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm going to make my brush. I want to check in the light box. I, I'm sure I have for Alpha um, some kind of distressed stone stuff. Um, so, yeah, it's like rock damage and stuff like that. I'm sure there are some other there's some interesting cracks and stuff here. Um, I know, I'm sure I have some other ones though, some exposed brick and stuff. They might, they might actually be their own brushes. So if I chose like this, for example, oh yeah, of course, when you have, um, when you have light box open, um, okay, why uh, can I delete this? Can you hit delete? Can you hit? Whatever. Let's try this. Drag it out. Um, wait. 
I'm gonna see, I know I have brushes. I think they don't actually be brushes set for rocks and stuff. Yeah, okay. Let me look. Um, some bricks and some exposed, exposed stuff, some rock damage, and like that. Just, just some brick damage is kind of what we're going for here. Also, um, I'm gonna go with my I'm gonna go to my outfit here, and I kind of the, the one I still love more than anything is, is this armor these armor damage ones. They just have such great nasty um, look to them. So I'm gonna turn this out. Maybe has a little You're not getting a great look from this. Yeah, I'll put it in to get a better look from this. Um, okay. Might just have to rely on noise um, for this. Just to, yeah, again, this is this is fine to get kind of a starting point here, but. Um, you ever find yourself in that position too and you're just kind of like I feel like I'm about two seconds away from just using the same alpha over and over and over again because I don't want to be bothered that's kind of where I am right now so let's go here let's try noise plugin maybe we'll get lucky with something like um, you know granite or erosion or something like that just going to get some interesting stuff here let's go to turn on UV I think I have UV I'm going to turn on off my face and my and I kind of messing around a little bit. I don't really care too much about the uh, color of them. I guess there's going to be some. And the pockets go all the way down. Maybe increase the strength a little bit. If I have to apply that, what do I get? Just give me a little something there. It's not exactly what I want though. So, granite? No, is that granite? Yeah, that was, that was without erosion. Without erosion. Let's try granite. Get this nose off, UV. And again, I don't care what the damn color is on. I just want to get a little bit of stuff on there. There you go. Okay, it's just something like this. Just to kind of get, again, it's not going to be that that noticeable. I just want to kind of get a little bit of stuff there um, that I can then kind of just adjust a little bit with paint. Um, let's go here to texture, add the spotlight. There you go. For some reason, it was not letting me delete that. So what I want to see is roughly what I have to work with up here. Look at this guy. And again, I'm going to turn off a uh, smooth modifier. Just give myself some more points just for the sake of, um, just for the sake of getting some stuff on here. But this is still really low res. You can see based on the density of this, this is just not going to give me much of anything. So again, I'm going to focus on the paint with this. And it's not much of paint really. I'm just going to go to multiply uh, and come in here and just kind of like hit some of this. Um, I'm going to mess my cavity really fast and see if I can, I don't think I have much longer cavity on there either. Oh, my let's put this zero. Um, so I'm just gonna throw some, some stuff in here. Again, I don't 
I'm not really, I'm you know, overly concerned. I think that for some reason, the, this this one here really is not doing it. It's not getting a lot of um, of uh, resolution. I feel about it. I guess there must not have been a lot of uh, not have been a lot of resolution at the beginning. It's like it must not have been very. Um, that must not have been very well put together. And for that, I blame myself. For the most part. It's probably my fault. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but since again, since my main focus is on paint is on printing this. I'm just gonna set that supposed to be in the background. I'm going to jump around a little bit. I want to go to this guy. And again, I just want to kind of like, I would love to see if I can mask my cavity and get a decent mask here. Those bricks are there. Um, but I'm really not getting anything from that because I think I squashed them so much. Which, again, not the worst, not the biggest problem in the world to have. It would be nice if it worked, but um, let me just see if I get lucky here. And, uh, okay, so I'm gonna have to find a working area. Okay, so it's just not it's just not happening with that. Which is fine. What happens if I try and contact it? I'm curious about contact. Oh, nope. Don't do that. Right, so I'm just gonna paint. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of uh, of darker colors back there. Um I get a little bit of this. Again, why am I sampling the dark colors? And why is this only in so bright? I feel like I am getting muffled. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> I feel like this is this part of the issue that I'm around when I'm trying to figure stuff out. I just don't. I just don't speak. I just mu I just mutter. <laughs> That's my problem. Um, <laughs> I guess says what software do you use for slicing the model? I always use Cheetobox um, because it's it was free. I think, or I don't know if it was if it wasn't free, it was it was close to being free. Um, I know that Bradley and, and I think Mike use uh, Lightchain now, um, and they they rave about it. You know, I. I I just I don't have the, the wherewithal to spend the money for it, um, you know. And again, I, I because I think a lot of the stuff that I've used, a lot of the printers I'm using still work fine with Cheetah Box, and I've, I've always gotten great results with it. So I've never really, I've never really, you know, bothered too much about that. Um, but yeah, I think that that. Uh, that, that they use Lychee. I, I again, I, I'm, I, I use Cheetah Box. I, feel, I find it very, very user friendly. Um, so I am a big fan of all that. You know, I have no, like, I have no reason to think, well, I better try something. Else. So I just, I just think, I think, I think Cheetah Box it does, it does a great job. The support that creates, they just fall right off. Like when you take them, you take them out of the, uh, of the, of the, um, the printer like this. I, I, I just love it. Um, and if it, yeah, exactly. I mean, it, it's exactly if, if, it, if it works, it works. And, and you know, um, I don't know. I can't, is it is, do we is, do we know, like is, is Box no longer like updating, or am I thinking of uh, Simplify 3D? I used to, uh, Simplify 3D was was the slice shot I always used for the Ender um, because it, it, it again it did an awesome job. The force that it made just fell off. Like it was just really awesome, um, and uh, I don't know if I think that maybe they don't they don't like they might not 
update anymore, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm correct. I don't really know for sure. Um, but I seem to remember them saying something about like that, you know, that they don't, they don't, they're not updating anymore. Um, it might have just been for certain printers, but um, yeah, I don't know if they're still, if they're still doing it or not, to be honest. Um, And again, like just to be clear too, I'm, I'm, the, the paint here is really more as like just a guide um, and to kind of like get a feel for everything. Like, you know, if I'm, if I'm doing this for printing, obviously there's no point in, in, in sculpting. Orlando, how you doing, man? Thanks for coming by. Yeah, this is, I, I, I feel that, that I've been a little bit more contemplative this time. I'm just trying to think my way through things. So I, I apologize in advance for this. If, uh, if this is not necessarily the, uh, you know, the most exciting, the most exciting. I'm just, I'm just trying to like, I'm trying to, that's why a lot of times when I do streams, I do a lot of the stuff before, um, oh, okay, thanks, Dan, I'll turn it down. Um, I feel like I should do like a lot of stuff before uh, I come in, just because I feel like it's boring to watch. Like, I'm, I'm just trying to figure stuff out. I don't know if it's like, you know, I don't know if seeing me sit here and second guess myself is great, it's great viewing. <laughs> but, you know, um yeah thanks jamie yeah i i it's I, again I'm, I'm so so unused to this whole setup and also this is a like a, a newish a streamers software thing i think that we're using so it might also like just be like a, a matter of um getting the levels like the same the, the way they need to be for this you know for this new thing um right next to like this one here So now again, I'm just I'm going to go through here and just like start throwing on some. Uh, but this is all still very un, very unhigh. I was going to say very unhigh res. This is how you can tell it's been a long day. Um, it's very unhigh res, not low res. Very unhigh res. Important that we uh, that we use the proper terminology here. Um, I'm going to use my true dynamic with alt and see if I can just hit the high points here. And I don't think that I can. I don't think that again. I think that I think that when I squash this in the uh, in the um, in Maya, I think I really just I really squashed it. Like I just I made it essentially so that um, there is no such thing as up and down anymore. It was just all it's just all one, just all one thing. So you know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna just go in here and throw in some paint and just say that's yeah, good enough. And again, should I use my mask lasso? Yes. Yes, I should. I should use on that last one. Um, next one point. A little bit of color in here. It's, uh, anyway. Sometimes you just, I just, I just don't, I'm not thinking rationally. So I just don't, I just don't like, like very obvious solutions to problems just don't, just don't uh, occur. And, um, I think that's where I am today. Today is just a today is just a weird day, folks. I really apologize. All right, it's gonna throw that on there. Yeah, <laughs> legit. How you doing, man? Background with Z mother. No, uh, I this was really all zebra, uh, all Maya. Um, most of this, I should say, uh, in terms of the modeling. Like I really, I just brought it into ZBrush uh now just to kind of show my complete inability to take it to the next level in zbrush um but yeah so I, maya so yeah here's um this is the skewed version of maya i kind of kind of crushed everything with a lattice um there is before i crushed everything this is kind of the way it looked um it was you know much more actual um you know like bricks were bricks shingles were shingles and now it's just been squashed into oblivion so you know it's it's, 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 it's um like i said i think if the goal i'm like keep telling myself this guys and, and please bear with me here if the goal is to paint is to is to print it then the difficulties i might be having here with painting and you know presentation <laughs> all those things maybe those are just not the worst problems i have that's just this is this is my this is my, my this is what i'm going to say and again you can see how nice and how nice and like defined the bricks are there they're not they're not defined here um they are again the bricks 
they're there, but they're just not defined because I squash them. <laughs> I just squash the hell out of them. So that's uh, that's where we are. That's where I uh, sometimes I just don't think I just don't think, I don't think things through. So I'm gonna paint these bricks, and we're gonna see if the bricks show up at all. Um, they might. I'm gonna do again. Like I want. Oh geez, that was really bright. Um, I want to when I print this out um, have kind of like a an LED light kind of hovering in there to kind of like essentially fake not fake actually illuminate but in the meantime I'm just going to like throw on some color here that looks like you know it's being illuminated and <laughs> you know what you know what this is you know what it needs it needs AO let's bring in some ambient occlusion because once you bring in ambient occlusion then everything's great it's fantastic you can see here but now you can see the bricks because of ambient occlusion. What am I thinking? See, now, now everything's fine. Oh, so this is actually not so bad. This part here that, what, that kind of wasn't coming out exactly. Um, should I just like fake this and just pull it and just call it a day? I don't know. I'm going to go to this Hit one. Just pull that out a little bit. Does anyone know? Can you guys tell anybody? Okay, so now <laughs> that's fine. Um, let's go to solar mode. So let's just do a quick. Again, I'm telling you, man. Like I'm, I am absolutely in this state of mind where I am not, not doing a great job of coming up with clever ideas. But um, and this is why so often I do this stuff before I. Oh my god before I come on because you know it makes it look like I know what I'm talking about and I really don't. Cool. So let's go here. Uh the roof. Can you see the roof if I turn that off? So the roof here, again this, this little roof here, it's, it's, it's a little bit orangey. Um it's got some slats and stuff, uh impressed some some impressions of slats on there. Right? It's not like um one brush guys one brush it's not it's not like it's it's let's see a whole lot uh, i'm gonna kind of i'm gonna kind of keep this dark up here and then kind of go to the orange because again all this is being illuminated by whatever light is back here right so i'm gonna, have, I'm gonna throw it on there like that now again this has 1600 points i'm gonna turn off my smooth modifier divide divide i did add some edge loops um on here uh to kind of even out the faces so that theoretically um if i were to try to um like you know sculpt on there it should work i don't know that it's worked out that way tonight so far but you know we'll have to see so this little guy here let's take a look at what we're getting here so again still just not, not a lot of help here um but this is kind of what i want i just want to kind of like the impression here of, of some some damage but again dragging out alphas are just are, I, I never like it because it just it just seems so obvious that you're just dragging out alphas so i'm just gonna kind of like just you know throw on some little lines here these are just these are indications of roof slats um you know roof shingly 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 bobs a real thing that's not a thing um shingly bobs that's what i want here like this this is better than any alpha well, i guess it has an alpha on it but you know what i'm saying let's throw it on there like this screw that that brush with the the fancy little alpha on it who needs it i'm gonna throw it on there like that down here i'm gonna try something i'm gonna try let's go here my standard brush and let's go to light box here go to alpha and let's try some bricks do we have bricks? I think we have bricks. Um, yeah, I do, but it's a brush, right? It's a brush. This is part of the problem, too. You get so many, like, you get all these brushes that you see, like, oh, that'd be awesome. I want to have that brush. And then you get the brush, and you forget that you have the brush. Um, look at that. This is a drag drop. That's interesting. That's really um, not, this is not what I'm going for, guys. This is not it. That's, that's in case you're curious that's not it 
Um, so <laughs> that was that was just god awful. I mean, not the brush. Uh, I'm sure that brush has a lot of uses, especially if you need to stamp identical bits of bricks five feet from each other. That's, that's if you if you ever need to do that, guys, that's where you go. I have whole a whole folder of brick alphas. I probably should have looked at that. Um, told you guys sometimes, man. I just don't. I didn't. I just don't know what I'm doing. I can live with that. I'm actually gonna turn on RGB and see if we can get some like uh, some color here. You know, go into and multiply. Oof. Turn on the color intensity. Again, the problem with these is it's just it's just such an obvious alpha, but you can't see it very much. So I'm gonna kind of pop it one or two places there. Yeah, vector. Yeah, VD, VDMs would be would be a good good call, Ram. Um, do they have? Do we have those? I know we have chisel, but I don't know if we have chisel uh, or VDMs for that. I remember, yeah. I mean, and I know I know that there are like I remember Pavlovich did like he just showed how you can just take alphas and and little bits of this here here and there and just kind of like. Turn them into VDMs, and then like just you get this whole, this whole great setup. Um, I don't think I have them. Uh, I'm just going to. I, I I feel like I have I have found my 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 technique. And that is <laughs> to get the orb crash brush and just kind of go back and forth as if I was like an inker on a comic book page and just want to kind of do some some random lines here. I feel like I'm. That's it. I'm being true. I'm being true to the old school way of doing things. Gosh darn it! And that's what I'm doing. Um, also, I'm, I'm, I'm out of ideas. Oh god! I put the multiply. No wonder why I was getting that. Okay. I'm gonna go white a little bit down here. And again, our this is our our um, the place where things are getting you know are getting all uh, flamey and stuff. Some of these buildings back here. So this building back here, again, I'm, I, I really do think that this is kind of the way to go, is just to just to kind of put like a like a gradient of color on them, um, and just a few little bits here and there, and then call it. Just because I think that you know, for the purposes of printing, this is not the main concern. Um, I'm kind of excited for the print for this, um, but I do want this to look, you know, moderately finished and. This is never going to be okay. So again, I'm going to do this. Does have this? This does have UVs on it. So again, if I did this, even if I just did basic surface noise. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, even if I just did basic surface noise with a little bit of um, the darkness on there, I think that'll do a lot of the job for me. Right? Again, I'm not. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna stress out about that. I think that um, just some little lines here and there. And again, for this, I might even turn on R. R. D. B. turned on. I don't know if, if Old Cracks actually does paint though, because it looks like Old Cracks is one of those brushes that that's always going to perplex me because the alpha would imply that it's sculpting everywhere but the the, the center, right? Isn't that somebody needs to explain to me how that how that makes sense that it's not doing it that way? I use the bricks. I couldn't. Yeah, and that's a, actually a, a good a good idea. Um, let's try that because that'd be kind of fun. Um, so let's go here. I'm gonna apply this noise. I want to apply the little speckle to kind of give it something. And then let's go here to uh, noise here and look at this upside down, I believe. Um, but that's okay. Uh, so there is a brick noise, right? There is. And I think I also I also use an alpha if I needed to. Um, I gotta check. Um, I'm gonna check. Yeah, good call. Good call. I gotta check that out. I'm gonna turn off the noise. I'm gonna go to the plug and turn it down. Um, crank up the strength. I'm gonna negative here. So I get. Let's just see. I wanna see how it looks. There. Okay, so we got some cool bricks. I gotta change on the scale, obviously, but. Um,
All right, that will actually, that'll actually work. Like you said, I can, um, I can kind of use a little bit. I can mask a little bit, right, as well. Um, I'm gonna rotate it the tiniest bit. I want the negative. I want the negative one. How much am I bet to go to positive one? Oh, it works. Okay, so uh, let's go to negative. Can I go? To, oh. No. Okay. Um, yeah, let's add the strength a little bit here. Scale down a little bit. Yeah, mask by noise. So I, 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 I see that. I don't know what that. I, I've, what does that mean? Like I, I've, I wish I could figure that because I've, I've seen that before. I don't know what exactly that entails. Let me get this a little bit bigger here. Oh, what I want to do is let's go here. I'm going to increase the strength a little bit. Okay, mass by noise instead of applied and choose. The... Okay, so let's see. Um, mass by noise, apply mass. But that's the question. So, what does that do? So I'm curious, I don't know what that does, like mask by noise, like so like I'm because does it mask by the currently applied noise? Um, I'm not seeing like it doesn't seem to do anything. I mean, it, it does something weird when I do that. I'm going to see about the, the brick. I want to. Um... Mortar thickness, I want to kind of increase that a little bit. I mean, I can always just turn off view mask, right? And then just kind of um, with my mask pen and kind of like a weird. Oh, oh what happened with the noise? Okay, Jamie, thank you. Um, but I know, so control is to hide the mask. It goes, oh. Okay, let's see how that works. So I can go to mask by noise. Control H to hide the mask, and then scope the part you want. Oh, so I'm actually sculpting. Now I get it. All right, Jamie. Thank you. Oh my God, that makes that makes a lot of sense. Oh my God, that was driving me crazy. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Okay, so Orlando, you're saying if I 3D print the background, all the details show up. We need to make them more noticeable. Well. Yeah, and some of the things I can do that with the contrast. I can, I can kind of like add the contrast and stuff, right, to kind of make them pop. Um, some of the things are the, the the contrast brush won't work on them because they're not it's not they're not up and down parts of the surface. They're literally like these bricks right here, for example, are literally just cubes. And when I squash them, they uh, you know they just kind of. They still have the, the indentations, and I think that if I do, if I use some washes and stuff like that, some dark washes, I can kind of get in there and kind of, you know, I can get, I, I can kind of get the dark paint in there a little bit and make them stand out a little bit more. Um, that is the hope. I think it, I think it should work. I don't think they're that squashed. They're squashed enough that you know, like using something like you know the H polish. I mean, the uh, Trinidad won't find it, but I think it should still work when it comes to painting. It should. Um, now I try to VR. I have not, and I, I here, a couple of reasons. One, I don't have, I don't have it, but I also think, for me, um, I don't. I think I need to feel the pen hitting the, the tablet, and VR something would would be would, would kind of it would feel weird, in the sense that um, I would like I would need to cover my hands in the air and I don't and I don't, I don't know how to like that would that would be tough for me to do I think um I I don't think that that is in my wheelhouse yet I think it's one of those things where 
I would probably, I think it probably needs to be a little bit more, uh, I, I'm sure it's going to get better. You know what I mean? Um, I know that uh, we had, um, we had G, I think it was, was, it, I think it was Gio who, was on here who used VR sculpting and made, you know, some awesome stuff. So like it can be done, certainly, I know. I, I kind of don't, I kind of don't, it doesn't really make me feel more like I'm sculpting, to be honest. And I think it, I wonder if it's because, like, if I was, um, this is awesome, Jamie. Thank you, by the way, for the mask by noise. That's, that's such a, that's such a help. I, I did not understand how that worked before. And now I get it. It's awesome. Thank you. Um, and I, I think that when it comes to the VR stuff, like if I had, um, if I had, Painted before, sculpted before, like you know, if I was a, if I was a personal sculptor and I kind of liked the idea of being able to kind of physically move around, then I would probably feel like this was like a godsend. I wasn't really. I mean, I sculpted before, but I was never I was never a sculptor, like in the sense that I'm not used to, um, you know, like that kind of sculpting, that kind of work, that kind of workflow. So I don't. I never felt like I was missing out on that feeling of that kind of you know more tangible sculpting thing but like i said you know i also just think that to a certain extent um not feeling my pen on the tablet i don't know how you how you kind of control that um in terms of like you know pressure sensitivity and that kind of a thing i think that, that would feel weird not to have that um so that i don't know i think i think that that's kind of a uh kind of a it would be kind of an adjustment and I definitely don't need more challenges when it comes to sculpting. I'm already just being me is enough of a difficult situation in terms of uh, like feeling like I know what I'm doing. I, 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 again, it looks, I mean, it looks interesting. It looks like it'd be cool. I just don't know that it's that it's that it's something that I would be able to kind of take full advantage of. I think that it would just be another layer of of, um, of unfamiliarity. <laughs> so. Yeah. I think that eventually that'll be kind of a cool thing to do, but I just I really don't have that that knack, I don't think, for for something. Again, as you can see, this is a, like from a sculpting standpoint, there's nothing happening here. I'm trying some stuff here, but I feel like I'm just you know, I'm gonna just painting this fine. I just kind of wish that I had uh wish I had the wherewithal to know that we have, like how best to go ahead and, and like make this look cool. I think that so much of this is just going to be dependent upon the actual the actual print um and you know that's 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 coming that's, that's going to be a little bit in the future i'm still i am so like in the weeds with um with the x-men cover uh i have five of them five of the x-men completely almost completely painted i should say not not completely but almost completely painted um and you know i have like three others that are closer to being almost finished but not quite um and i have several that have not been touched yet and still not quite sure how i'm going to make <laughs> magneto's force field i have an idea um it requires using a vacuum form over over a 3d printed eighth of a sphere and it could work never tried it before so what could possibly go wrong i'm gonna go with my um my little vent here i'm gonna, I'm gonna give myself half a million points on the vent so that i can kind of come in here and just give this little oh god too much nice little thin little, little, little bit of a thing here just to kind of break it up a little bit maybe i'll get my luminaric brush or h polish one of those and just put a Put a big dent in it. I gotta reset my chimney brush because I was uh, I was doing all kinds of terrible things with it when I was trying to paint. Can I get a little bit of a you know a little bit of a bent, a little bit of a of a of an old old feel of this and my paintbrush. Go to a rusty color here. Gotta get back to this guy before I get too far afield and 
get some darker colors in here because this is definitely darker up top. Group this like this. Oh, policy. I'm gonna throw some orange up top here. It's gonna get the little in here, but I'm just trying to get a little bit of a uh, little bit of a shadowy thing happening there. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so brick here in the front inning. Yeah, I want it. I would love. Now, this is one of those ones where um, I want to just kind of like fake, <laughs> fake the lighting so it feels. I'm just going to start throwing in some lightness here, and then darken it a little bit up top here. And go for a much lighter light. Like this. Oh, Ernie, thank you, man. Yeah, I, I so oh, so you have so you do try you you, you enjoy it. I, I again, I've never I've never tried it. So if I were to you know to kind of like give it a shot, um, I might end up loving it. You know, what I mean, I just it's just one of those things where it's also kind of an expensive uh, thing to try. I think I, I again I could be wrong about that too. Things have changed. Like prices changed so much now. Um, but uh, I, I mean, it feels like it should be fun. Like I would like to give it a shot. Right, let's go with this guy here. And it seems like a lot of this coloring is kind of like similar, just kind of inherits the color from um, from, from the surroundings here. So I'm kind of like, I'm just going to kind of hit this with the same kind of colors here. Oops. This is also part of an issue too, because I'm like, again, like these, these, a lot of these cell tools are kind of weirdly connected to each other just because. I exported them out um, as separate pieces based on what they did. So, like for example, this these are just like you know all the little ornamental parts, and uh, you know this is let's go to the, all the uh, all the platforms, which is just where is it platforms platform platform. This is all these guys like it's just i just i, I explored them based on where they fit in the scene <laughs> again probably not the best way yet. but again i think that we'll i think we're getting somewhere with this let's bring back the um the title just to kind of like make it feel a little bit more like okay so it does make some sense <laughs> oh okay, so with, with miniatures okay that's awesome because that's like I, I feel, I feel like when I'm doing a lot of, um, a lot of painting now of my 3D prints for the the zebra, is that the zebra, for the X-Men cover, some parts, especially like Professor X, who's way in the background, like they feel like miniatures. I have to kind of get, you know, get used to that. And Ernie, yeah, thank you. Ernie. And again, I will, I will definitely keep that in mind because I do, I do want to check that out, and I would think that'd be kind of cool. You definitely should. That'd be awesome to try and do a collectible, man. Yeah, but if you have like an idea as to kind of what kind of collectibles. What kind of like subject matter you want to do because um i'm kind of curious like i'm always i'm always looking for like like for the, the, the kind of like statues i do like one of the ones i'm printing out next is the um is the jack of hearts one that i had done just recently because for some, again something i don't know what it is about me but something i i like the obscure ones that like you definitely wouldn't find a collectible of anywhere just because i think if i i guess because i like the idea that i'm now, I'm kind of not competing with anybody who's way better. <laughs> I was going to do something that no one else does. And then, you know, kind of like corner the market on the obscure. Um, and that's kind of fun for me, I think, to kind of play around with that. Um, and that's, so yeah, I'd like to see what you're working on, what, what, what kind of collectibles you're doing. Just because, you know, I like to kind of live vicariously through uh, people who, like, do good stuff. <laughs> my, my, my jack of hearts. Like if it doesn't come out well, who's gonna know? Like no one's gonna be like, yeah, I know Jack of Hearts. That's not him. No, no one knows Jack of Hearts, which is why I did Jack of Hearts. It worked perfectly fine. 
let's go here again now i'm at the i'm just going to try to um kind of like you know start blocking in some some shadowy areas stage um i'm gonna multiply because i want this to be kind of almost black This was kind of like a like a crisscrossy water towery thing, and that is just like gone. But the uh, the skewing just kind of just made that go away. Get her. You think Kratos worked? <laughs> I was just recently um, looking at I think it was Planet Hulk, or was one that was one where the where the he was like the maestro. Um, that I, again, I know that you know he's. He's not exactly obscure, but like I always thought that that would be, that would be kind of a fun sculpt to do just because the beard and stuff like that. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, so I'm just gonna make this. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll try to do that. I'm just gonna turn off the. Um, so oh, eight million multi million points for that, please. So I'm gonna go here with the um, with the metal here, and again, I'm I'm, I'm I'm like there's no rhyme or reason to this at this point. I think I'm just kind of jumping around uh, to the parts that I just see that just kind of jump out and strike me as being in need of a little bit of uh, you know messed up. Okay, I was at a whole size because we. Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> See, that's the thing, and that's like one of the cool things ab about you know um, doing sculpts like that is coming up with like uh, unique diorama type ideas. Just because um, that to me is like the most fun now is is trying like it's it's also the, so the most challenging for me anyway is trying to come up with um, like. Not just a good di a good pose, but just a cool idea for the for the for the action that's being captured. Um, you know, instead of just like standing there looking awesome, which is perfectly fine. I've tried to do those too, and those are also especially good for printing because you know you don't have to worry about crazy bases. Um, but if you know, like for example, like you know, like Wolverine or something like that, like you know, you, you see him a million times, like with his arms out like this, screaming, which is awesome. That's his main pose. So if you, but when you see one that's not that, it still feels kind of like very Wolverine-y. I, I always kind of like find that to be so, so awesome just because I think that those are kinds of the, the ones that strike me as being really kind of clever and creative in that sense. You know, it's, it's, it's hard sometimes to feel creative when you're doing a character that you know a lot of people have done, which is why I kind of like that, that challenge of trying to find um, either a character that has not been done a lot or a, a way of making that character appear that has not been done a lot, you know? And I, I don't, to be clear, I don't feel like I've succeeded, but that's kind of like where I try to, where I kind of, that's, that's what I enjoy. I enjoy that process of trying to find something like that, some kind of, um, you know, some kind of un unique way of kind of looking at the character and kind of making it, finding a side of that character that isn't necessarily common, you know? Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to do that thing that, that Jamie was just talking about. I'm going to, I'm going to mask by noise um, and just kind of like dig in here and there because this is now my new thing. Jamie, this is awesome. Thanks, man. I I I had seen mask by noise before. And I did not realize what it did. Like I thought I knew what it did, and I, then I tried stuff and I realized, oh, that's not what it does. <laughs> so thank you, Jamie. That's this is such a huge. That's a huge help, man. That is awesome. Okay, cool. So that's just, it's just, that's just, because there are some things like you just, you look at that, it's like, I know that this is a good thing. I know it's something that I should know how to do and that would make a lot of things easier. And, uh, and then I just, <laughs> it's just completely don't know how to do it. So that's awesome. Yeah, Jamie, thank you. Um, cause that's, that's a whole new, whole new way of doing things here. And also, the fact that you did that while also staying up 
I mean, you're got, it's got to be 230 or three. It's, like, it's got to be 230 right now, like, or something, or something along those lines. Which is that's 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 damn heroic at this point. Okay, now this part <laughs> again. I divide this. Oh God. Here's something you realize. This is why you don't divide with the smooth modifier on. Look what happens to this poor thing. Yeah, that, that's not what I was going for. Um, so maybe we'll turn Mr. Smooth Modifier off while we do that. There you go. Okay. Let's just not do that again. You can see that, guys. Um, what the heck I just did? Let's go here for my paintbrush and throw on some color. I don't think that. You're still not feeling well, James? Man, like this has been like lingering for a while. I'm sorry about that, man. Well, I wish this was a more exciting. I again, like I like you were saying, like I was kind of like coming in and out. I like sometimes like you're sitting here trying to figure stuff out, and you're like, I haven't said anything for like ten minutes. <laughs> you're just staring at the screen. So you know, some some minor occasions, some situations where that's not necessarily the best. <laughs> the best the best viewing can't imagine why my, my views are so are so low well, it's, well, it's fine, maybe. incidentally i'm never gonna get tired of that like two months jamie have you have you have you have you, have you been to the health services to see if they're like doing some antibiotics or something along those lines because that seems like it's a long time about the alt key you know while i'm holding down alt and, and, and pressing in I actually it's like other things i didn't mean to do that i'm just throwing it out there that was not my intention oh geez let's not do that either no, no. all right so let's see let's see how are we looking here guys how are we looking i mean this is not terrible oh gosh we have like nothing here <laughs> I'm talking about not terrible. Okay, let's go here to polygroups, re it with UV, and let's grab this guy. All right, so, okay, so now I'm going to subdivide this. I only have 18 million points. That's not crazy, given the fact that I have to subdivide a lot just to get some stuff in there. But it is true that Daredevil isn't even here yet. So he's he's hanging out. He's over he's over here. There he is. Um, really had a lot of fun uh, painting him uh Last time, I thought that was I thought that actually came out came out closer than I expected it to. I know, yeah, yeah, same thing, same here, guys. Like, hope you get better, man. That's really it's a long, it's a long time not to feel well. Oh, is that what it is? Long, yeah, it's, yeah, long COVID. See, that's I didn't. Ha I, I definitely didn't have long COVID. I wouldn't not pretend that I did, but it, it definitely. When I had COVID, I did feel like when I actually had COVID, I felt unwell. But when I no longer tested positive, is is kind of when my body was like, okay, now I'm going to actually feel terrible. It, it, it was. It's true. It feels. I feel like when you're finally not positive for COVID is when you really start to feel terrible. <laughs> I don't know why that is, but that's, I think that's absolutely true. Because that's what I was, I was, I was concerned about that. I was concerned about, you know, again, whether it be long COVID or something along those lines, because I, it was not, yeah, it was not, it wasn't like free and clear. Like, oh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm free of it. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely take it, take it as easy as you can, man. That sucks. But you know, 
if that is the case, what better, you know, that, that see, honestly, if I was, if I was laid up and incapable of, of doing anything that required a lot of effort, that would be a time for me to try and learn Blender because I would have, I, I wouldn't have the strength to be as whiny and awful and bratty as I am typically when I learn Blender. So that's my only hope, my only hope. And I'm not going to, I'm not saying I want this universe, but that would be my only hope. My only hope would be that somehow I got so sick that learning Blender seemed like a reasonable thing to do. I don't know if that could ever happen, but don't ask me why guys. I'm going to try to use a half tone pattern. Um, a half tone pattern on here as noise. Why? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Do I know? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to try it. But definitely, yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah, take, you know, even if you're not, uh, not feeling like you want to sleep, <laughs> watch something you know is boring. <laughs> it's totally good to go. Yeah, not a good idea. This, this was a stupid idea. This time I might actually just try some, um, speckled stone. I really do. I feel, I feel on some level these, um, a lot of these, uh, noise plugin stone ones, they're really not what you would call what they're not, they're not, I've seen speckled stone before folks. And, um, this is not it. Now I guess you can't say that. If anything, I have done my part to make this the dullest stream ever. Like I literally just sat there and stared at my screen for five, 10 minutes tonight. And I don't know that I, <laughs> I said anything for a very long time. I think that, um, you know, I'm doing my part to try and get Jamie to fall asleep. You know, you all just have to look in the mirror about what you're not doing. Personal opinion. Yeah, Ram, I, I, again, and I, you know, I was, I was complaining and it was a surprise, but I was complaining about that when I was working with, uh, working on it, uh, in there with, uh, with Bradley and, um, you know, and he's, he was showing me how there are some ways or like, like my, my biggest problems often is just, I feel like it takes three or four actions to activate something that shouldn't take that many actions to do. Like, I feel like, you know, like to, to get. To get to edge mode, just left an edge shouldn't take me. I shouldn't have to hit three buttons to get that. Um, and I think he said, like, you know, there are there are like um, plugins and stuff and, and kind of like add-ons, I guess, or all um, that you know can kind of help with that. And my, my, you know, the brat in me um, so wants to say, yeah, but should I need a plugin or an add-on for it to be just moderately, moderately efficient? I, I would say no, um, but again, that's just me being a brat. And you know, so if if again, if you if you if you if you come in here one time and I'm talking, if I'm extolling the virtues of how how wonderfully effective and efficient Blender is, that means I caught whatever Jamie has, um, and and I'm I'm under the weather. So you should you should call uh, the you know call 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 in some medical help because clearly. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm having a, having a tough time. <laughs> Maybe if you're in the UK, you're in the right country. I, I am, I am the most unabashed Anglophile. I desperately just, I just love to, I mean, I don't know how, you know, like weather wise, I don't know what it's like, but, um, I mean, whether it's like, I, I, what I understand, I feel like it was, it, you never need to worry about air conditioning, and now that now you desperately do, which is not good because I'm, I'm a big wuss when it comes to heat. So if it's hotter in it, if it's hotter in the UK now, 
that could be a problem because <laughs> I'm, I'm not a happy not a happy person in the heat but I do love the rain and so I understand that's a common thing in the north All I, all I can say is that you know, I, I, I don't have a lot of I don't um, subscribe to a lot of streaming services, but BritBox, absolutely, I, 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 BritBox is, is is my go-to. So let's see where we are now. okay so again this is you know when you consider the fact that all of this is just kind of meant to be the background um oh see yeah see scotland again scotland just seems beautiful i i, I know that it's, it's raining but uh, you're a heat kind of guy <laughs> no I mean, yeah they're not the best spot right now <laughs> See, what I should do, and I feel like I could probably still get away with this, um, is I could probably get away with, um, I want this to view this, like this, this tall building has, a, has much more of a perspective going on. Um, so I think, let's just see, can we get away with, can we do that? Can we make that work? Um, cause I haven't moved anything, right? I haven't done anything weird. Um, so theoretically, could I just grab this, um, and skew it some more? Cause it's got like, there's very little, thanks Jamie. I appreciate that, man. I really do. Uh, it could be the sickness talking, you know, see, that's how you know Jamie's not doing well. You know, he's, he's he's having he's having delusions. He's having delusions of my own of my competence. So you know, help the man. Let's go here, and I want to see if I can just really kind of just do that. I really want this to be because in that picture, it's absolutely like on a crazy angle like that, right? Yeah, and it's also kind of. Yeah, like this. I feel like I can get rid of that. Um, these two should also be skewed. The issue is these guys are. <laughs> um, I might need to do those separately. I think. Um, <laughs> Yes, <laughs> it's the surface. Surface noise cured cured everything. All right, so I I'm just gonna try this. I know that this isn't. This is one of those things where again, like, if you ever had that thing where like this was so obvious that like the fact that I didn't see it is just really embarrassing. Um, so I'm gonna do this. Because I'm gonna have to um, do the same thing to this one too. So I'm gonna see if I can do this, and then just kind of manually skew the top parts. Um, so let's kind of let's just do that. We have this guy here, and again, I'm just gonna try and skew this a little bit. But yeah, so yeah, in, in Maya, I, I I applied some gradients. Um, just to kind of, again, to kind of stand in for, um, what was going to be the lighting and so it, was, it, it, it didn't do, you know, it was better, it worked better than I thought, but this needs, it needs to work much this way. Um, like that, I'm going to do that. And again, you can see how awful this has turned out and it's just because there are, there are parts underneath um that uh like little built little, little like blocks underneath 
whose sole purpose really is just to kind of make sure that there's it's solid um like when i do you know kind of like the uh what's gonna call it the um <laughs> the live bullion uh, i want to make sure that it's, it's, it's you know it's got solid got a solid mass underneath so that it's not um deepers so that it's not oh god you know there's no air pockets or anything like that so definitely i'm going to need to kind of like re-import these top pieces i'm sorry i have to go into the top pieces and, and, and readjust those manually um yeah i i didn't want to say that because you know ears are around but yeah yep um that accent is is irresistible um I want to in absolutely irresistible though. No 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 ways around it. Um so just gonna do this really quick folks and then we're gonna kind of call it um mid right build speed. I'm gonna just um bring these in really fast uh little ones to, and see how this works um a frame B. now i'm changing the names all kinds of weird things happening here uh a frame bricks i just want to see and then i need to kind of adjust the, the little roof parts but it needs to be done because it's such a major blunder not to see that it's like the whole part like the whole front of the of the um of the cover is is designed to look like it's on that angle no well, it's not great okay so where's the bricks um a frame brick skew Ooh. um let's find out where that is um let's Okay, uh, I don't know really why it's down there. Oh, okay, okay. move the whole thing. Uh, a frame speed. Okay, so they both come in together, which is nice. Um, and they they keep their paint, I guess, which is nice. They keep their paint. Um, okay, so now we're going to move this up. I don't think there's much else besides just moving up a little bit, right? So. I feel better about that, um, I think. Let's bring in these little guys, and again, this is going to be... Going to be down there at the bottom, little ones. What? Suddenly it has problems with paint. All right. How's the other look at the That's a good question. And I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, bring that in. Bring him in here right after I bring this stuff in. Um, I do want to kind of see how it goes together a little bit. It's gonna be so weird until I cut that part out. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. In a so let's go here. Well, not today, but um, okay. So there we go. So now let's go here. Let's, yeah, we're going to bring it in here, and then we're going to um, bring in Daredevil and see how that looks. 
Uh, let's go here to import. Now I have to bring the bro big up. No one. So, and all this stuff. Now again, let's just because it's gonna drive me nuts. Um, I'm going to do a quick Tony Gore. What's up, man? Um, you know, what's up, Tony? You know, I, yeah, I see we got got Tony doing. Tony's like going to take going to take my job. He's animating now. So now, what the hell am I going to do? What do I just start retop retopping Tony? It's not going to happen, man. Just you know, forget it. We can just we can do both. One thing, one thing you can be sure of is not going to happen is that you know Tony might start doing anim start doing animation again, get, getting back into that. One thing that's not going to happen is me uh, is me retopping anything. Why stop that? For God's sake! All right. So this is my super high tech um boolean for uh for this so i'm gonna come up here all right i'm down here all right boom this so all right Um, why is this not? All right. Can someone explain to me why? Why this, which covers up everything? is not covering up everything someone explain that to me like why is this stuff which should be hidden not hidden what am i missing oh uh, is it the is it no is it the folder it can't be the folder right don't even know what's going on um yeah i don't know what's going on it's very weird all right so i'm perplexed I'm not going to lie. I'm perplexed. Why, 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 why? I'm here to turn this off. Wow. So it literally only affected one thing. It only actually only affected one thing. Uh, okay. Yeah. So let's, let's, let's get rid of the folder. Let's just see if the folder is part of the problem. Never knew that could be a, yeah, actually it might have been a problem in the past. Hmm. Well, you know, I thought that was the case too. <laughs> but it's not. Oh, you know what? I should turn on. Oh God, I'm an idiot. I told you guys, this is not a good night for me. Okay, so this now makes a little more. Oh my God. Yeah, it didn't. It, you know, you know, you know what else makes it not work when you have the visibility turned off. Incidentally, um, I do need to make a 3D version of this here too. Which is not going to be easy in the uh, I'm not really sure how to do that, but I have to have that there. Um, all right, so MJ Sculpt, what's up, man? Save before the book. Duck, you are not wrong. You know what? It, just, it occurred to me, I literally haven't saved anything. I don't think I saved it. anything right now. I do think just looking at this wide expanse here, even though Daredevil's going to be around here. All this stuff, I do think I might need to have this building here just to kind of break that up a little bit, a little much. All right, so let's see. Um, so I'm not going to bring in the final version of him yet. I don't really feel like bringing in all the parts. I guess I, I guess I need to, don't I? Okay, I will. Um, and I'll put this in front of uh, of the shadow box so that I don't need to worry about that being an issue. I think. Is there a way, I don't know if you guys know this, is there a way for me to bring in these different subtools into my current thing 
more effectively than going back and forth like this and just having the next thing selected. Because that would be nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jamie, yeah, if you can, uh, let us know, man, because that would be, that would be kind of cool. So put them on a folder and use a sub tool master copy folder. Oh, you can do that. <laughs> okay. Let's try that. Jamie, you are like, you are just, you're just, you're showing me stuff tonight. All right. So let's go here. Let's do a folder. Now, if I come in here, my paste folder. Is there a paste folder? There's a paste folder. Dude, my, my eyes have been opened. That is awesome. Dude, thank you. That is amazing. All right, that's so cool. All right, I think my shadow box above here. Dude, thank you. Okay, this is okay. This is this is this is important. This is important stuff to, to to be learning tonight. That's awesome, man. All right, so let's go. That's yeah. Thanks so much, Jamie. Would you be sick more often? All right, so. Oh, uh, you know what? I think. Uh, Do that. Oh, okay. So, oh, yeah. Okay. So they're on uh, on the YouTube unpublished. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right, Orlando. Like I, I've been literally going back and forth between projects, and it's like you know, okay, I'm gonna make that one my my active one. Then I'm gonna just you know, come back in and bring it in. I think Jamie's just he's he's holding he's holding this he's holding the stuff like under the you know close to the vest. He's just keep he's just he's just keeping he's just keeping stuff from us. Oh, Jamie, man, yeah. Speaking of which, you're you're. Your penguin, your catwoman, like, dude, you are like, you know, like I said, you should be sick more often, dude. You know, I mean, maybe that's what you need. Maybe that's, you know, maybe that's the the key to creative beauty is 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 you know, just complete and utter misery. Yeah, I don't know. If it were the case, we'd be doing much better. Let's go here. Let's bring this back on now. Let's bring my uh, shadow box back. Okay. Yeah, so you can see, you know, this is um, obviously, the, you know, the main issue that we're having at the moment is that uh, the, the, the foreground elements are very, 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 very simple. Um, but... Yeah, dude, it, it would be, it would be, it would be awesome. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta give me more stuff to watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jamie, yeah, again, typical Jamie, you know, just, just keep all the tickets for himself. I feel, again, I, I think that generally speaking, this is actually, it's actually getting, it's, it's coming along. It's not, again, it's not amazing at the moment, but I think that. Um, the pieces are kind of starting to feel like they belong together a little bit, I think. Um, just generally speaking, I think that we have, we have, you know, we have a, a kind of a combination, a, a combination of things which tend to work together. Um, again, in, in my, in my mind here, uh, what I'm thinking probably is I would have 
something along the lines of um, just a little, like a little lip coming out. Wait, what the heck? Why is that? Oh, um, I'll bring this forward a little bit. Um, I think that, yeah, a, a little lip coming forward there would be kind of cool. Uh, because, you know, everything else is kind of background noise anyway, uh, in the sense of it, you know, being background. Um, so if I were just to kind of have essentially something like this that you're not going to see, right? Because it's going to be kind of like under him. Um, but something along the lines of this where we kind of have you know something like that where it, it, just, it just kind of it just kind of comes out and again like I might adjust the shape of it or something like that but uh, again I can also use this as essentially a platform for this fence maybe even have this part kind of like connect to it in some form or other just to kind of give the um the foreground come out <laughs> I plugged out like the matrix. <laughs> well, yeah, you got you got you got to be on your toes when Pab's doing it because he'll drop all that stuff. He'll drop like twenty five nuggets in three seconds. Um, <laughs> I I had um, there are people in here. They were doing they're, like they were working on my heater. They had to go up into my attic, which is. I found through here and my little spawn covers right are all right there and they kept walking by them and missing them by centimeters like and I was just like <laughs> and after a while I was like all right everyone stop I gotta take these down because I'm gonna have a heart attack um but yeah that that's there's it's only a matter of time in fact at one point I did knock over one of the spawn covers and several pieces broke off um but you know, little glue, no big deal, I guess. It was a little painful at first, I'm not gonna lie. Um, wait, what? Again, see, you see this thing? Like, my my little my little shadow box is is not perfect as you can see here. So what the heck, guys? What the heck? Let's just really quickly hit my uh, my shadow box to work. Does this does, does anything work here? Can I pull it down? No. Okay. Am I not on my shadow box? Guys, this has been a really weird, <laughs> a really weird night. All right, things just I'm stupider than usual. Um, this is very odd. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, so but yeah. Um, did I tell you guys? I don't know if I told you guys. Uh, on it was last Saturday. This is before before I let you go. I'm going to leave you with this. Last Saturday, uh, before the clock struck nine in the morning, one of my cats broke five of my 3D prints. <laughs> five uh, at once. He knocked over one that was relatively heavy because it was made way back when, before I even hollowed out prints. And it and it created this, this cascade of prints falling, and I heard them all fall. And then I heard the worst sound you can hear when a 3D print falls, and it sounded kind of like this, like which means like little pieces fell and then just moved across. So let us have a quick in memoriam for the three prints that, that, that are no longer with us today. The first is my, my Tormund, my Tormund Giants man from Game of Thrones. This is his, uh, this is his torso. There he is. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with, uh, with the bigger picture here for this. So 
This was my Tormund. Okay. This was the this was his jacket. These are his legs. This is not as bad, but Cobra Commander, he, he lost his hand. He'll get it back. He'll get it back. One day, he'll get it back. That's two, three, The killing joke, this arm, this hand, this camera, this hand, all gone. They're kind of back now. It's not quite as clean as it used to be. We're still not done. We still have, we have, we have more. The Black Dynamite, which is a collaboration between myself Mike Thompson and Tony Gore. Um, and when I say collaboration, I mean, I, 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 I sculpted a vaguely human shape. Mike Thompson turned it into black dynamite. Tony Gore made the awesome gun. The gun uh, broke in, into pieces. So it's glued back on now, but another one, in memoriam, another one is gone. Um, And finally, just because they all need their, their due, is my Dark Ages Medieval Spawn guy that I made like forever, forever, forever ago. Um, his sword is now uh, is now in Valhalla. Um, you know. Oh, yes. You know what, Jamie? I'm glad that you mentioned that because the five the five prints that he broke uh, 30 minutes later or so. Number six, which I will show you. My little cute, my little mini Cad Bane that I made. Knee, right at the knee. It's not, and I, I didn't realize he was even broken until I looked on my shelf. And I saw, I saw this. <laughs> he was on his back, feet in the air. So the yeah. So six in one weekend. So you know, if for not if for no other reason, I have to make more prints to kind of keep up with the destructor over here, who seems to. Uh, and I caught him before he got to my mild morale scope. Things would have been really bad. That was okay. Anyway, folks. So, <laughs> um, again, so thanks, man, thanks so much for sticking around with me. This was this was uh, this was a weird a weird night in the sense that I was even less entertaining than usual. But I felt like I was really kind of just in my own head trying to figure stuff out. Um, and I apologize if that was not necessarily the most exciting time you've ever had. <laughs> um, but. Uh, I really I appreciate you guys hanging out. Thanks so much for all your help. Thanks for helping me, Jamie. And thanks for helping me out, guys, um, for showing me ways to kind of make this a little bit easier to do. Um, again, I think that, you know, as a starting point here, I think that we, we have all of our stuff. And the fact that it kind of it fits into that shadow box, I think, relatively well without too much, I think, of a loss of, of you know, spatial logic. Um, I think that's, that's that's encouraging, right? So uh, next week um, is really going to be all about the pedestal, all about the, the 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 steeple and and everything else, and just kind of making sure that everything comes together. But I really think that um, by that point, you know, the steeple part, the little the little oh, you know, I should probably have my friggin' screen on here. Sorry, guys. Um, the steeple part here needs to be done. This little tag part up top here, I think, really needs to be there gotta find a way to get those the other words up there as well but for the most part this is the main part right so again thanks for pointing out with me guys i know tonight was a little bit weird i was having a lot of, a lot of difficulties um 
but this is kind of part of the, the the issue is that I just you know this is kind of new territory for me too, bringing like all this stuff uh, and then squashing it all down and trying to make it you know, trying to make it work. So I do have to do lots of adjustments here to this to kind of to un to, to re skew these things, kind of match the new skewed stuff. Not a big deal. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. Um, and hopefully next week I'll have I'll have my act together a little bit better. Um, but again, always appreciate you guys coming in. Um, we do on Sunday. Yes, we have Ian streaming. Thanks, guys. We have Ian streaming on Sunday. Uh, again, the, the Digital Forge is back um, for part two of Cyclops. Which is, again, it was going to be so awesome to see again. Uh, and I believe that's still 9 p.m. EST, uh, 6 p.m. Uh, PST, I think, at the specific time. Um, but yeah, so come and join Ian on Sunday. Thanks again for hanging out with me tonight. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it was worth your while. Uh, and uh, yeah, have a great night, fellas. I'll see you guys later.